They record? No. Mark time. Mark. No. No. Detail. Hold. Center. Face. Open rings. March. Officers, draw. Sword. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to announce Ensign and Mrs. Nick Overcrow. Officers, three, ten. this story in the past, but with Memorial Day just ahead, we thought we'd bring back this feature about a place that's been called the most patriotic coffee shop in the country. Look for the Star Spangled Banner waving over Main Street and you have arrived at the Saturday morning go-to place for every veteran within driving distance. Starting at 9 a.m., the volunteer band is tuning up for a friendly jam session and the volunteer baristas have the coffee flowing. Now that pot holds 100 gallons, and I'll probably empty it before the day's over. The coffee here is much better than military issue, but this gathering place has become known among vets for much more than the hot drinks. The coffee shop and the people that I met and everything uh, changed my life. And to this day, I give every day, I'm here every, every day I can get here. And the coffee shop, to me, uh, represents a place of healing. Well, you, you get to talk to people that know what your feelings are and what's going on. I heard one guy had gone over to the VA in Salisbury, and somebody over there told him to come over here. He was having a hard time dealing with, you know, life in general. And uh, he said the best thing they told him was to come over and get a cup of coffee. This is where he got his medicine. Yeah, he come over and got his medicine here. He got some coffee. I'm 88 years old. Okay. Okay. So I've been around a while. I've never seen a place in this world that I've been that is as friendly as, as there is in Morrisville. I swear, this is absolutely outstanding. The coffee shop came into existence thanks to Richard Warren, a veteran himself who passed away before he ever got to see the final fruits of his labor. He created the nonprofit organization Welcome Home Vets Incorporated. It goes hand in hand with the coffee shop. This military museum at the entrance to the coffee lounge is loaded with donated materials from many of Richard's friends, acquaintances, and from others around the community. Lynn King recently volunteered his time to help design and build the exhibition room. But that's not important. The most important thing were the volunteers. I had about eight to 12 men every day for seven weeks, and we did this place over. The exhibits cover everything from the Revolutionary War to the World Wars and every era leading up to the present day. There is no charge for admission, but any extra dollars from coffee sales or donations goes into helping veterans and even others in any way possible. This is for the community. We cater specifically to the veterans within the community, but 
everyone is welcome because there are people walking around in mainstream society that have demons and we will welcome them here and help them in any way we can. There are some fascinating people here. Within this room, I met no fewer than five World War II veterans. Rod McFarquhar survived the Normandy invasion, only to run into a German decapitating wire a few days later in Belgium. He survived it, but spent the rest of the war recuperating. And on the day of this interview, Len McCutcheon was celebrating the 72nd anniversary of his first day in the infantry. But the best stories might be the friendly ribbing they give to one another. We had a joke came through the other day about uh, giving the following order, secure the building, what would happen? The Navy would lock it and turn out the lights. The Army would establish a perimeter and kill anyone who came inside. Marines would blow it to smithereens and clear it out and leave it a hole. The Air Force, on the other hand, would rent it for six months and take with an option to buy. So this is the way we, we go at it. You get coffee, culture, and as much or as little conversation as you want on Saturday mornings at Richard's Coffee Shop in Mooresville. I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend. Richard's Coffee Shop and the Living Military Museum is at 1605 North Main Street in Mooresville. It's open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Remember, vets get free coffee on Thursdays and there's bluegrass on Saturdays. For more information, give them a call at 704-663-0488 or go online to welcomehomeveteran.org. An early Christmas surprise tonight for a Inland Empire family. They've been without their father for the past several months as he was serving overseas. This past week, his wife sent us a message on our ABC7 Facebook page to tell us her husband was coming home. It's been a busy weekend for Santa Claus at the promenade in Temecula. While most children are asking for bicycles and Barbies, six-year-old Madison Sherman's wish is a bit different. Her father, First Class Petty Officer Ron Sherman, has been deployed in Afghanistan for the past six months serving in the U.S. Navy. Her one wish for Santa Claus was for her father to return home for the holidays. The surprise reunion caught on camera. I was actually supposed to come home right now, but I just didn't tell anybody. I told him I was coming home at the end of the month. So we kind of misled my kids a little bit. Incredible. It's a miracle. Angela Sherman kept her husband's homecoming a secret from most everyone, including their 20-year-old daughter, Jordan. It feels amazing. I've missed him a lot, and it's really good that he's home now. It's a miracle. Okay, can I get your name? This was Petty Officer Sherman's second deployment. He first served in Iraq in 2010. Between all the hugs and kisses, Angela Sherman said it just means a lot to have him back. He's going to be safe. Safe with us for Christmas. And now Sherman and his family live in Winchester. He is stationed at Port Wyneme. I spoke to him over the phone. He said that they plan to hit up Disneyland to celebrate. Okay, come here. Big I got a big, I got a surprise for you. Yay. A big surprise. You ready? Oh, my sister's on the, uh, making the... Are you ready? For both of you. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! 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 Did y'all miss you? <laughs> you scared me! Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! It's me, I didn't know you come, came home on December. It's November. Yeah. It's, it's, it's November. It's November. Okay. I got coming home in seven days. Come on, 
on in. Y'all can come in and make yourselves at home. Don't cry, you can let me cry. Not yet, teach cry. Just getting back my boy, my son. That, that just means the world to me. Just getting him back home. Like I said, I, I love my job that I do, but when, when I don't have your family together, it makes it hard. So now my family's whole again. Oh, I see. I see What do you think? That was good. <laughs> 